So we always start with the long-term trend. Uh, it has been a choppy mess. It has not been strong like it, it was previously. And just since you know the summer, it's just been a mess. So it's been a little bit strong, a little bit weak, a little bit strong, a little bit weak. So it's really tough to really get on anything and, and run it uh, long term. It's got to be very quick and, and trading. It's been it's been so choppy that it's been been a tough a tough go. And and certainly the market has not actually made any progress since late July at this point. Actually, might have been early July. Uh, we're actually pretty flat. The market is as well. It's just been this up and down and sideways motion. Um, but today, yesterday was up. Today is up. So the long-term trend is positive again. So that's we'll see where that goes. But but um, I'm always cautious as we come into the middle of October that we might have one last little little scare pre Halloween, and then things get pretty good into November. And I have a chart for that uh, at the end. So the midterm cycle, this is what we trade our enhanced index models on. This kind of gives us a hint to, as to shorter term, should we be more in the market, more out of the market? Uh, this is talking about uh, money coming into the market and accelerating. This is coming out and decelerating and then deceler or accelerating out of the market and decelerating or leaving the market, but uh, decelerating. So on this little nub here, and I'm going to show another chart that, that shows it again later, is we had a buy signal. And then the next day, it just like, nope, nope, wasn't working. And the market got hit pretty well. So we actually missed a lot of the ugliness of September. And then this little nub got, got us bit a little bit there. Uh, and then we got out and then we're actually back in on this run. And, and it seems to be kind of back, back where it needs to be. Um, uh, the, the positive negative sector uh, ratio is, is one to 10. Uh, before September, it was typically half and half, you know, five to six, six to five, somewhere in that range. Uh, and just kind of not real strong, not real weak, just kind of bouncing along. But but uh, in the last month and a half, we really had energy has been the main one. And financials have been kind of popping back and forth here and there, here and there. Uh, not real strong enough to stay fully positive. Uh, but we are seeing signs that, that things like real estate and, and consumer discretionary are popping for or positive. So that could be a good thing. Uh, a couple others here are starting to be positive on their MACD. So that's, that's kind of a, a hint for us that things might be turning that that is a little bit shorter term. So that's not enough to push it to the left side. So, but, you know, things, things look, you know, being optimistic, but again, it's a little bit early, we could still see another quick little hit before um, this month is over, and then then expect a pretty good uh, November. Here's, here's a way to show you the uh, kind of what happened in September. So this is the 1st of September. Every bar here is one hour of the market uh, went down. So we actually were getting out somewhere around here and missed a lot of this. And then, oh, the market fell off a cliff. We missed that. That was great. And then it came back. Okay, great. That looked like it might have been it. I believe we got in a little bit more, a little bit aggressive right there because it looked like that was done. And then, nope, boom. Now, nothing happened that day. This, that's what's really strange to us and and me and Christine and Will all talked about this um, fairly extensively is there was no, nothing that day saying that the market should have just fallen off a cliff. The only, the only remote headline was that interest rates are going up and that's going to hurt tech stocks. Nothing, no news, no, no other news or, or events or anything came out that day. So it's very strange. And since then, it's just been this absolute choppy, very highly volatile mess. Uh, today, we are back up into this area, which is nice. Uh, but, you know, that could be resistance. We could pop up to here. That could be resistance. So it's got a couple of barriers to get through before we're really thinking, okay, we're good into the good to go on the high side. But we are looking for opportunities to drip money back into the market. And then finally, I'm going to revisit this. Last, uh, last month, we talked about how September in the last 10 years had a 50-50 chance of being positive. Now, you go longer term, uh, that's now down, that's down to like the 20-30%. So we knew it was September was going to be a rough month. And it was you know, as promised on schedule, uh, et cetera. Uh, October is a little bit better, has a little bit better odds. It's about 56% chance of being positive for uh, the month. Uh, so far, so good, but it, you know, it, it's early still. We can see where that goes. But then here's November. In the last 10 years, November has been the place to be, even better than, than April or, or July, which is interesting. And, and typically December is the highest one on the list, but not in the last decade. So I find that pretty interesting. Um, so, that's where we are on that. So let's hopefully we have a good a good November and hopefully the we can get a good entry on the end of October here and and, and run well into the end of the year. Now October hit, or sorry December is typically one of the best months of the year, but lately it hasn't been. And and um, 
I just saw a presentation by Helene Meisler, who does charts by hand. She's fantastic to, to watch. But she was saying, you know, th there's this, this belief that December is always positive. There's always a Santa Claus rally. She's like, that's, and it sounds good and it, it often is true, but it's not always true. So don't just think that, hey, it's December, buy, buy in, go, go nuts, be crazy, and, and we're going to make money. It's not always the case. Thank you.